Hello everyone and welcome to the 2023 Jubilees, my second annual gaming award show where we look back on all the games we played over the last year and celebrate them, handing out awards to our favorites and we'll be recognizing some very special people as well. We do have a surprise celebrity guest. Marzipan is here in the building with us. There you are. Good girl. First off, I want to say a huge thank you and welcome to everyone who found my channel and subscribed in 2023. I really thank you guys for being here, for watching, commenting, liking. I hope you've enjoyed your stay here on the channel with us and I really hope we see you moving into 2024. For everyone else, welcome back. It's a pleasure to see you here, as always. Now, if you didn't see my last award ceremony, I'll pop it up there and also in the description if you want to watch it, but here's how tonight's event is going to go. In tonight's awards, we have some community awards to give out, and then we have a lot for gaming, so please stay tuned. Let's start things off with our community awards tonight. I will be handing out awards for the Silver Patron of the Year, the Gold Patron of the Year, the Diamond Patron of the Year, and Channel Member of the Year. First, let's take a quick moment to honor last year's winners. Last year's Silver Patron of the Year was Tim. Tim. Last year's Gold Patron of the Year was Connor R. <laughs> and last year's Diamond Patron of the Year was Juha. So, the way the Patreon awards work is they are randomly selected from those categories as I don't really have a way of measuring engagement, but my channel member award is based on engagement and it is the person who commented the most over the last year. We're going to start with Silver Patron of the Year. I have them all in this box that Marzipan was eating from a moment ago and I had to move it away from her. She actually pulled out a winner. <laughs> But I wasn't sure how fair it was, so I'll be redrawing. And the Jubilee, our Silver Patron of the Year, goes to Jane L. Jane L. Congratulations, Jane. This is for you. There you go. And Marzipan is making some celebratory biscuits for Jane right now. She says, congratulations, Jane. Alright, now I have... I have the gold patrons nominees here. And the award for Gold Patron of the Year goes to Josh M. Josh M. This is for you. Here you go. Congratulations, Josh. Marzipan will make you some celebratory biscuits now. I now have the nominees for Diamond Patron of the Year. And the Jubilee goes to Ji Young N. Congratulations, Ji Young. A huge, huge, huge congrats to my three special Patreon winners. You can wear that badge very proudly now for the whole next year. 
And let's also give a huge but quiet round of applause to all my patrons. Thank you so much for being a member of the family, and I hope to see you next year. It is now time to give out the Jubilee Award for Channel Member of the Year. Unlike the Patreon draw, which is random, the Channel Member of the Year Award is based on comments, engagement, and it is the Channel Member who commented the most over the entire year. Last year's winner was Brian Montero. After that, the slate was reset, and I did go through and personally note down and count how many comments came from each of my active channel members throughout the entire year. Yes, I went through and hand counted. You all took the time to leave those comments for me, so I thought it was only fair if I went through and personally counted them. There was one clear winner, although I will say it was pretty close, but I'm very, very proud to announce the winner for the channel member of the year, and the winner of this little jubilee is Keisha Natera. Keisha, this is for you, and thank you so much for being such an amazing special commenter. You make my day with your comments. Seriously, I love seeing a comment from you. You're a wonderful, wonderful person. Love you. I also want to take the time to thank my top 10 commenters. So Keisha was number one, but I'd like to thank the others. Panko Panda, Jameson Sally, Airy Girl, Pineapple, Husky Enthusiast, Sarah Bear, Thomas, Danny Danger, and Naomi. Thank you guys, you are all amazing, wonderful commenters, and comments from you will make my day, really. You're all lovely, lovely people. Big round of applause for all of you, and especially to channel member of the year, Keisha. And now, we have to take a break and hear a quick word from one of tonight's sponsors. Hi, I'm down to earth house cat Peregrine Took. I love the simple things in life playing, napping, and munching on delicious chicken snacks. I think all pets deserve the best in life. Cats should be able to go in whatever rooms they want, sleep in the comfiest beds, and eat all the chicken snacks they want no matter if they were nice or naughty this year. So vote for Pippin, because a vote for Pippin is a vote for chicken. Paid for by the Pippin for Chicken Foundation. And welcome back to the Jubilees. I'm your host, Jubilee. We're now moving on to our gaming awards portion of the evening. And the way this works is, over the last few weeks, I asked you all to vote for your favorite games from a series of categories of game. I gave you all a lot of options to choose from. Tonight, our nominees will consist of the top five voted for games in each category, with the number one most voted for game, of course, winning that award. All right. Thank you all so much for voting, by the way. It means a lot. We had over 300 votes for every game, which I think is quite a lot. That's quite a lot of you putting the time, so you all can really pat yourselves on the back because you made this happen. Our first gaming category will be going to the most satisfying game. And the nominees are... A Little to the Left. Cupboards and Drawers, developed by Max Inferno and published by Secret Mode. Cupboards and Drawers is the first DLC released for a little to the left. House Flipper, developed by Empyrean and published by Frozen District. House Flipper is a simulation game all about cleaning, flipping, and selling houses. Power Wash Simulator developed by Future Lab and published by Square Enix. 
a simulation game all about running a power washing company. Sticky Business, developed by Future Lab and published by Square Enix, a light business sim all about running and managing your own sticker business. Terra Nil, developed by Three Lives and published by Devolver Digital. Terra Nil is a strategy game all about cleaning and restoring the earth and its natural resources. And the Jubilee for most satisfying game goes to... A little to the left, cupboards and drawers. Congratulations! This was personally one of my favorite games of the year. I finished the entire DLC and I loved every second of it. I'm so happy you all voted for it as most satisfying game of the year. Congratulations, a little to the left, cupboards and drawers. Our next category tonight is the best simulation genre game. Personally, simulation is one of my favorite genres of games. These all meant a lot to me. It was really hard for me to pick just one. That's right, I voted for all these games as well, and not all of my favorites won. But I can tell you tonight that the nominees for Best Simulation Genre Game are Dave the Diver, developed and published by Mint Rocket. Dave the Diver is an adventure RPG about diving in the ocean and running your own sushi restaurant. Gas Station Simulator, developed and published by Drago Entertainment. Gas Station Sim is a game all about running, cleaning, and operating your own gas station. Graveyard Keeper, developed by Lazy Bear Games and published by Tiny Build. A crafting RPG all about running a graveyard. House Flipper, developed by Empyrean and published by Frozen District. The long-awaited sequel, House Flipper 2, released on December 14th, 2023. And the Power Wash Simulator, developed by Future Lab and published by Square Enix. Power Wash Sim has released a host of DLC, including themes such as Spongebob and Tomb Raider. And the winner for Best Simulation Genre Game goes to... House Flipper! House Flipper! Congratulations, House Flipper! And here's to House Flipper 2 coming up in the new year! I'm excited! It can be dangerous to game alone, so the next category is the best co-op game. Best co-op game. And the nominees for best co-op game are Animal Crossing New Horizons, developed and published by Nintendo. Animal Crossing New Horizons is a social simulation game and the fifth main entry in the Animal Crossing series. Baldur's Gate 3, developed and published by Larian Studios. Baldur's Gate 3 won Game of the Year at the more popular, but not as relaxing, Game Awards. Minecraft, developed and published by Mojang Studios. As of the end of this year, Minecraft has sold over 300 million copies worldwide. Sea of Thieves, developed by Rare LTD and published by Xbox Game Studios. Sea of Thieves is a multiplayer, open-world, pirate adventure game. Stardew Valley, developed and published by Concerned Ape. It took Concerned Ape over four years to develop Stardew Valley, and he has since sold over 20 million copies of the game. And the winner of the Best Co-op Game in Jubilee is... Minecraft! Here you go, Minecraft. Is it any surprise that Minecraft won? As it is 
the most popular game ever to exist. So a huge congrats, and I do also think that Minecraft can be more fun with friends than alone, even if I primarily play it alone. <laughs> Don't go anywhere, we'll be right back with more Jubilees right after this quick message. We all love biscuits. No matter how old you are, there's nothing like a freshly baked biscuit lovingly kneaded by hand. That's why, at Marzipan Bakery, our world-renowned baker gets up at the crack of dawn to start her preparations. Using only the freshest ingredients and the most diligent kneading technique, Marzipan Bakery biscuits will warm your heart and soul. Marzipan Bakery is a proud sponsor of this year's Jubilee Awards. Welcome back, everybody. If you're just now joining us, we are in the middle of our gaming awards section of the night. We are moving swiftly along to the best farm slash life simulator game. These are also some of my favorite kinds of games, and there are so many to choose from these days. So the top five farm life sim games that you all voted for and the nominee for best farm life sim tonight are Coral Island, developed by Stairway Games and published by Humble Games. Coral Island is a farming and life simulation game set in Southeast Asia. Mineko's Night Market, developed by Miaoza Games and published by Humble Games. Mineko's Night Market is a crafting and life simulation game all about a little Japanese girl, her adventures in a new town, and a lot of cats. The Sims 4, developed by Maxis and published by Electronic Arts. The Sims 4 is the fourth iteration in the Sims series, which first began with The Sims, releasing in the year 2000. Spirity, developed by Cheese Master Games and published by No More Robots. Spirity is a life simulator and bathhouse management game set in rural Japan. Stardew Valley, developed and published by Concerned Ape. Concerned Ape is still updating Stardew Valley. He announced back in April that the 1.6 update will feature a lot of new content and be out in the near future. A new award for best farm slash life sim game goes to... We have a tie. That's right, it is actually an even split tie between Stardew Valley and Coral Island. So, congrats to you both. <laughs> Honestly, I think that says a lot about Coral Island that it could compete with heavyweight all-time farming sim champ Stardew Valley. I personally voted for Coral Island, although I had or Stardew Valley with all my heart. I just really like what I'm seeing from Coral Island and I have high hopes for it in the future. But congratulations to both games and I hope you all had fun playing both of them this year. The next category is the coziest game. You know that my channel is all about comfy and cozy gaming and ASMR and all nice things. So this was a very special category to me. The nominees for coziest game this year are Animal Crossing New Horizons, developed and published by Nintendo. New Horizons added 17 new villagers to the Animal Crossing series, bringing the total list up to 488 villagers. Coral Island, developed by Stairway Games and published by Humble Games. Coral Island initially released in Early Access in October of 2022 and entered 1.0 in September of this year. Mineko's Night Market, developed by Miaoza Games and published by Humble Games. Mineko's Night Market was originally announced in 2015. It took eight years to make this game. Stardew Valley, developed and published by Concerned Ape. Stardew Valley has been nominated for a Game Award and a BAFTA, and has an official board game made for it. 
Sticky Business, developed by Spell Garden Games and published by Assemble Entertainment. The first DLC for Sticky Business, Plan With Me, was released on December 18th of this year. And the winner of Coziest Game goes to... Animal Crossing New Horizons. <laughs> Congrats. Although I admittedly didn't play much Animal Crossing New Horizons this year, I do agree that it is the ultimate cozy game when you're not trying to kick that villager you don't want off your island. <laughs> this next category is a new one that I added called Most Unexpectedly Relaxing Game. Now, I do play a lot of cozy, wholesome little games on the channel, but sometimes I play something that you might not expect to see the word relaxing or ASMR next to it. Games like Cyberpunk 2077, developed and published by CD Projekt Red. Cyberpunk 2077 is a sci-fi open world RPG set in the not-so-distant future. Grand Theft Auto V, developed by Rockstar North and published by Rockstar Games. GTA V is an open-world action game and a multiplayer online game with an emphasis on crime and cars. GTA V was released in September of 2013. Hades, developed and published by Supergiant Games. Hades is an action roguelike dungeon crawler about a young boy named Zagreus trying to escape the underworld and his overbearing godly father, Hades. Life is Strange, True Colors, developed by Deck Nine and published by Square Enix. Life is Strange, True Colors is a narrative-driven Choices Matter game revolving around Alex Chen and her so-called curse. Red Dead Redemption 2, developed and published by Rockstar Games. Red Dead Redemption 2 is an open-world, story-rich western RPG where you take control of Arthur Morgan and his adventures in the Vanderland Gang. And the winner for most unexpectedly relaxing game goes to GTA V. Congratulations, Grand Theft Auto V. And we all can't wait for Grand Theft Auto 6 ASMR in our future. I don't think we'll be able to include it in the next Jubilees, or maybe even the Jubilees after that, but Hopefully at some point in the future. And our next category is going to be the most wholesome game. I do play a lot of really lovely wholesome games on the channel. It was hard to pick which ones I should nominate since I honestly think a lot of what I play would be considered wholesome. And I was very excited to see what your favorite wholesome game was this year. So without further ado. The nominees for Most Wholesome Game are Coral Island, developed by Stairway Games and published by Humble Games. Coral Island is so far the only title to be released by Stairway Games. Stairway Games is a small dev company based in Indonesia. Lil Gator Game, developed by Mega Wobble and published by Platonic Friends. Lil Gator Game is a casual adventure game about a little gator who just wants to relive his childhood and get his sister to join in the fun, too. Sticky Business, developed by Spellgarden Games and published by Symbol Entertainment. Spellgarden Games is an indie game studio from Germany. Sticky Business is currently their only released title. Super Mario Galaxy, developed and published by Nintendo. Super Mario Galaxy is a 3D platformer originally developed 
and 2007 for the Wii, it is the third 3D game in the Super Mario series. Turnip Boy Commits Tax Evasion Developed by Snoozy Kazoo and published by Graffiti Games The second game in the Turnip Boy series, Turnip Boy Robs a Bank, is set to release January 18th of 2024 And the winner of Most Wholesome Game goes to... Lil Gator Gale Congrats, Lil Gator Gale I have to admit, I was very pleasantly surprised that this one I actually personally voted for it And I was really excited to see that one that I voted for one. I think this was a really underrated little gem of a game That is just such a joy to play it's just so stress-free and makes you feel like a kid again So it is indeed very deserving of the most wholesome award Don't change that channel. The Jubilee Awards will be right back after a quick word from one of tonight's sponsors Are you tired of your home feeling like a hovel? Is your marriage falling apart due to a lack of chandeliers? Sick of only having a one-story walk-in closet? Is your dog's room not big enough? Then it's time to hire Woobly Jispers Realty. At Woobly Jispers, we believe in only the best for our clients. From state-of-the-art indoor pools to your own at-home pub, we can make your dream a reality. While our architects are designing fabulous custom homes, our interior decorators are scouring the globe for the most transcendent art that'll be just right for your new abode. Need a bit of refreshing? Woobly Jispers can help you design and build the perfect addition to your almost perfect castle. From luxury home theaters to a dream bathroom remodel. Or how about giving your pet that well-deserved two-bedroom suite they've always needed? We have the home for everyone. At Woobly Jispers, we're committed to creating a home that will feel like a dream. Woobly Jispers. Welcome back, everybody. We have just two more awards to give out before, sadly, this night must come to an end. The next one is a bit of a special one. I thought I would honor the non-gaming ASMR videos that I make every few videos as it's important to honor my regular ASMR roots. So I sort of grouped the kinds of videos that I make into a few categories and asked you all to vote for what kinds are your favorites. So the nominees for your favorite non-gaming ASMR video that I make are ASMR at 100% sensitivity. My first ASMR at 100% sensitivity video premiered in November of 2022. Combined, my 100% sensitivity ASMR videos have over half a million views. Thank you guys so much for enjoying them. Diamond Painting ASMR I got into diamond painting for the first time this year and after finishing this Cats and Strawberries painting I finished a mountain painting and then moved on to this Kiki's Delivery Service painting I've created over 7 hours worth of diamond painting ASMR content from starting paintings to finishing them to just getting up for my next painting reading to you. This year I started making both soft-spoken and whispered reading videos, reading chapters from some of my favorite books that I happen to have lying around. From The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins to Twilight by Stephanie Meyer. I've even read some from Percy Jackson, The Lightning Thief, and some special themed Halloween reading videos, like Edgar Allan Poe, and some scary stories from Reddit. 
I also did a Patreon special reading video, reading from Legends and Lattes by Travis Baldry, Real Estate ASMR. This year I started one of my personal favorite series on the channel, virtually touring crazy houses that I come across on Zillow or Sotheby's International Realty website. Over the last year, we've toured more than 50 houses, townhouses, and condos together and seen some pretty wild and bizarre stuff along the way. Whisper rambles. Any whisper rambles. Whether they are ear-to-ear -ear cupped whispering like in this video, or one of my old-school lo-fi whisper rambles using just a single microphone and a little kitten. I've been whisper rambling for over 11 years now, and I don't plan on stopping anytime soon. <laughs> and the winner for favorite non-gaming ASMR style of video that I make is my real estate videos. Oh, thank you. I'll take that. <gasps> oh my gosh. This means so much. Thank you guys for voting for my real estate. As I'm sure you can guess, I have way, way, way too much fun filming those videos, and it means a lot that you all like them too. I will definitely be making more in the new year. There's always more crazy houses for us to look at, so thank you guys. It's now time to move on to the last category of the evening, the coveted most ASMR game of 2023. That's right, it's the moment you've all been waiting for. Now before we move on to our last category of the evening, I have a fun fact for you all. This year, 2023, we played 54 unique games, not including demos that I played of games that haven't released. 54 games across the year. Now, I compiled all 54 of those games into one category. I asked you to vote for your favorite, and the winner will be Most ASMR Game of 2023. You all voted for your favorite games, and I'm very excited to announce the top five, which will be the nominees for Most ASMR Game of 2023. And the nominees are a little to the left, Cupboards and Drawers, developed by Max Inferno and published by Secret Mode. A little to the left, Cupboards and Drawers has already taken home the most satisfying Jubilee. Will it win most ASMR game of 2023? Fun fact, my dedicated A Little to the Left videos total a combined half a million views. That's a lot of sorting, organizing, cat petting, and generally getting a little bit frustrated by the fact that I can't figure out what's supposed to be going on in the puzzle. But despite some frustrating moments that left commenters irritated, I've enjoyed every second of playing a little to the left, especially their first DLC, Cupboards and Drawers, and I hope there's more DLC to come. Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, developed and published by Nintendo. I made my first Breath of the Wild video all the way back in 2018, and I actually didn't have any capture card software at the time, so I literally filmed my Nintendo Switch screen. Since then, I have made 18 more dedicated Breath of the Wild videos, and I'm really excited to tell you that they have a combined total of just under a million views. This was actually news to me until I counted it up. Thank you all so, so much for watching my Breath of the Wild videos, and I hope you like my Tears of the Kingdom videos too. I, I have made some of those as well, but... <laughs> Grand Theft Auto V, developed by Rockstar North and published by Rockstar Games. I first decided to attempt to make a GTA 5 ASMR video back in 2021, and I'll be honest, 
I really didn't think it would work out. I thought the game would be too loud, too fast, too furious. <laughs> but I was pleasantly surprised. You all watched the heck out of that video. And since then, I've made 31 more GTA ASMR or GTA ASMR videos with a combined total of almost 4 million views. Give yourselves a round of applause, all of you. I am absolutely flabbergasted by these numbers. Do you think we can get 4 million views in GTA 6 when that comes out? Well, we'll see a few years from now, won't we? GTA 6 ASMR, coming to a Jubilee Whispers near you. Minecraft, developed and published by Mojang Studios. With 83 dedicated Minecraft ASMR videos on my channel, Minecraft may just be my most played game on the entire channel. My first Minecraft ASMR video was published in 2015. Whether you're one of the half a million people who watched my original Minecraft base tour, or you prefer watching me struggle in survival mode, over 5 million people have watched and enjoyed my Minecraft ASMR videos. And for this, I have to say a huge thank you. A lot of people didn't believe that I really built all those buildings in my original Minecraft base video. And the truth is that I did because I was going through a lot of the time and building those structures in Minecraft was my escape. Thank you so much for watching my Minecraft videos. It means the world to me. Skyrim, developed by Bethesda Game Studios and published by Bethesda Softworks. I have been playing Skyrim on the channel since a little after I started it in 2014. It is my undisputed favorite game of all time, and I am amazed and thrilled to tell you all that my Skyrim videos have a total of over 7 million views, making it the most popular game that I play on the channel. My first Skyrim speedrun was the first video of mine to hit a million views, and it has now become an annual tradition on my channel every March to speedrun it, and every year I've managed to beat my time. I've since done speedruns of all my other favorite quest lines. I think I've done just about every single major one, but I will see you all next March for my fourth annual attempt at the main quest speedrun, and hopefully I can beat my fastest time. What do you think? And the winner for most ASMR game of 2023 goes to, this is my drum roll, a little to the left, cupboards and drawers. Congratulations again, a little to the left. What a clean sweep. They're taking home two Jubilee Awards. I think this means that they were truly one of our favorite games to ever be played on the channel. I really hope that there's more DLC in the future because I, it is seriously one of my favorites. Thank you guys all so, so, so much for voting, for commenting, for liking, for subscribing, for all the wonderful things you do. I mean, it's silly to say, but it's quite obvious that this channel wouldn't be what it is without all of you. And I sincerely thank you for letting me do what I love every day. Getting to play my favorite games and whisper to the greatest audience imaginable is seriously a dream come true. I am insanely lucky to call this my channel, to call you all my friends, my audience. Um, you make an ASMRtist very proud. I had a lovely, lovely 2023. This was really fun to look back on and reminisce and although not everything went the way I wanted it to and some things were unexpected, um, I can look back on the year fondly and look forward to 2024. So here's to New Year with all of you. There's gonna be more games there's going to be new games, there's going to be some of our old favorites, there's going to be more real estate videos, and there might be some new style videos, who knows, but I ask that you take my hand 
and join me in this journey into the next year. Don't forget, if you'd like to be considered for next year's community awards, you can join my channel members by pressing the little join button below, or you can join my Patreons by clicking the link that's always in the description box. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this silly, silly award ceremony. I had a lot of fun, and I had a couple of bloopers with marzipan. I'm gonna throw them in at the end for you all to enjoy. <sighs> Thank you again for watching. I'll see you in 2024, all right? Goodbye, everybody. Thank you for watching. Congratulations again to all my winners. ceremony crashing I've ever seen. and being so nice and the other cat is underneath the bed doing god knows what oh my god i love you too but you are about to get kicked out of this award show marzipan wins the award for cutest cat cameo in this video she loves her chin being scratched Our first category that we're gonna go through tonight is our very special community awards. I don't have any nails to tap on this. A little bit. Oh. Sorry, some biscuit making is going to happen. Can I offer anyone a biscuit? A complimentary biscuit during this award show? <laughs> Sorry, I was unaware that she was going to be so invested in these awards. Okay. Yes, the community awards are, are very special. I really like them. It's where we get to honor and celebrate all the Patreon members and channel members, members of my cozy club. Uh, that's the box with the winners in it, and Marzipan is getting into that right now and eating... Okay. <laughs> she pulled out a winner. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love you. You're too funny. You are a really, really funny cat. Okay. The winners are going away. Nope. She's sticking her head in and pulling out another one. Okay, that's enough for you.
Oh my god, this is a hot mess.